Hi everyone and welcome back to Nancy Said. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make these crochet daisies which as you can see have a couple of layers. We start in the middle and then we'll do the white layer and then the yellow layer. The yellow layer has nine chains and the back layer has 13 chains to each loop. So let's get started. We start with a magic ring or you can chain four and join with a slip stitch to form a ring. And I have a video for the magic ring as well on my YouTube channel. Chain two to get us started, which doesn't count as a stitch. And then we're going to work 12 half trebles into the ring. So that's yarn over, in and out with the yarn, come up fairly tall and take off all three. Yarn over, in and out tall, yarn over and through all three. For 12 stitches because we want 12 loops per petal. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And I want to check that because I never can count and talk at the same time. So to do that, I'll take out my hook, pull tight to tighten the center to make it more ring shaped. And then start counting from here, this first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve would land us here. This the two chain at the start don't don't count. So back on with the loop, slip stitch under those top two loops, pull tight on everything, yarn over and slip that back through both and fasten off. So there we have the centre of our ring. Now because we used half trebles, that gave us what's known as the third bump or the back bump. Not the top two loops of the stitch, which we'll be using for the white for the yellow layer. But if you peel that down, you've got these bumps behind. And if you've worked loosely, they're fairly easy to get into. So let's go into the, the back bumps of each stitch. It gets messy here. <laughs> there is no real remedy for that, but a little bit of ingenuity. So let's join in the white. Into the back bump. You've only got one loop, so don't pull anything too tightly. Join it in. And on this layer, we're, we're going to have 13 chains. So that'll count as one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm going to hook my finger in there just so that when I pull it back, I can see where to go. You can see it's stretching up, so we're going to slip back down in there. And look over to the next bump. Start in there with a slip stitch, which has the power to move us over. 13 chains. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. A bit antisocial that part. Pull back, slip stitch in, and that's petal number two. We'll do one more. Slip into the next place. Chain 13. Okay, and you keep doing that until you've built yourself up all the way around. When you get to the end of the round, as I said, it can look a bit messy. So there I count, do I need to like squeeze another one in somewhere? You know, do I need to invent a place? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And I'll finish with a slip into the same place. 
you might have noticed I've done that wrong, but this is a demo. <laughs> don't look at me, don't do what I do. <laughs> do as I say. So we'll have our 12 loops. This is one I, I prepared properly. <laughs> And that will have your back layer of petals made. Now that's nice enough as it's as it sits, but by using the back bump, we've kept free these front two loops. So now we're able to add in to any of those stitches our yellow layer. Join in, and this is slightly quicker because it's nine chains three four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Join back into the same place with a nice snug slip stitch. Start the next little loop with a slip stitch into the next stitch over. Slip in and then nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And join back down in with a slip stitch. And I'll do one more to demonstrate. Slip into the next stitch with a slip. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And slip down in. And there we have the new layer of yellow. It's just shy of the back layer. And we'll end up with these lovely little flowers. I recommend you cut the white tail quite long so that you can sew it on to whatever you plan to sew it on to. Alternatively to here, instead of changing colour, you could put a little button over the top of that, which would save you tying in some ends. I mean, if it were a green button, it would give you the same look. But then you've got to go and find the right buttons. So I hope that that's of interest and it's nice for you. I've made a little upcycle little basket and embellished it with the daisies. So I'll show you that shortly if you haven't seen it already. Thanks for looking in. Take care. Bye.